Hi, I'm Brian with ericsontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss the minerals that make up the Earth's surface. So, depending on whether or not you're looking at the outer layer, which is the surface or the crust, or the inner layer, um, you're going to have very different um, chemicals and chemical compounds that are present. Um, the Earth's surface really only has seven um, major elements that are found in abundance. Um, the rest are just trace elements. Um, and these different elements are what's going to make up the minerals and the mineral groups that we find on the Earth's surface. So as I said, the Earth's crust is made up of seven major elements. Oxygen is by far and away the most abundant at 46%. Um, silicon is next, and then you have a couple of metals, aluminum and iron. It's worth noting that the core of the Earth is almost 89% iron. So the vast majority of the iron on Earth settled to the middle, um, but some of it is still found on the outside, so the crust. Additional elements that are found in Earth's crust include magnesium, calcium, potassium. 3.2% makes up all the other chemicals or elements found in Earth's crust. Now those few uh, major elements come together in a couple of specific ways to form what we call mineral groups. So uh, sort of uh, generic types of molecules and compounds. Um, the the several major types of mineral groups that are found in the crust include silicates, so that's mostly silicon and oxygen, carbonates, um, sulfides, uh, you have oxides, which again are using a lot of oxygen, you have sulfates, which are different than sulfides, halides, and then you have your native elements, so things like gold and silver, things that come in their raw form. So this was a brief description, discussion of the minerals that are found on the Earth's surface.